Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Dom, and this is Catching Z's Outdoors, here with another basic tutorial um, to help get you guys out on the water. So today's video, we're gonna show you how to uh, spool a, a reel. Um, you know, it's the first step to get really out on the water is you gotta get your line on your, your spool. Um, and then, you know, you can worry about tackling all that stuff, you know, going forward. Mm -hmm. um, so today what we have is a Penn Spin Fisher um, 6500. Um, it's a long cast model, um, so it is suited for surf casting. Um, so we are going to get this reel ready um, to specifically be fishing the Cape Cod Canal. Yep, and um, for the line we're using, we're using some Power Pro Super 8 Slick V2. Um, this is what we use um, on all of our reels. So we really like it. It's a braid line. Um, we're, today we'll be using 40 pound test, which I recommend um, in the canal, especially. Uh, between 30 and 40, you can use. Um, over that is just overkill. And um, below that, you might run into some problems because you gotta remember you're, you're also fighting the current um, as well as the, the fish weight. So, um, and then as, so today we'll be using um, two lines actually. Um, so the pen fish, spin fisher that we're using um, can hold 430 yards. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a 125 yard base um, and then attach our the line that we wanna use, our 300 yards of the Super 8 Slick. Um, you really want your spool as full as possible um, because it's going to reduce the amount of resistance, um, specifically coming off of the top lip of the spool when you're casting. So if your spool is, you know, right up to that lip, when you're casting and this, the line is coming off, you know, you're not dragging across, you know, the, the whole lip of the, um, the spool. It's just, you know, a couple millimeters in. Um, so that's why it's really important to keep your, your spool, um, as full as possible. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're going to start off with um, using the backing first um, and you know you can find um, anything in the home that's you know a cylinder that's going to fit in the hole um, of the spool um, to be able to just let the, the line run off. Um, in this case you know we just had a, a wooden dowel hanging around um, so that's what we're going to do um, use to put into the, um, the center of the spool. Um, now we're going to attach the, the first line um, just with a uni knot um, and it's really important that when you are attaching the line that you are um, going to flip your bail um, before you attach the line otherwise it's not going to catch on your, um, your winding arm and um, you know actually spool for you. So you know just flip it up, tie your knot um, and then you know we'll go from there. So we're gonna first start um, by putting the dowel through the line. So the reason that you're gonna do run the lines through the guides of the fishing pool is because it's going to leave the most realistic lay on your um, actual spool. Um, and again, you know, you want your spool to be as even as possible. And throwing the guide, throwing the line through all your guides in your pole um, is going to make it, you know, as even as you know possible. So we're going to attach our reel to the rod. Really simple. You just insert it in the bottom and then screw it on to tighten it. And you really can do this with one person, although it makes it a lot easier having two people, one reeling and one holding the spool. Um, it's really important that the person that's holding the spool um, is putting you know just a little bit of tension on the um, the spool um, just so that the line lays tight against your um, you know the spool of your reel. Um, I will say though, be careful um, with you know your thumb because the line uh, the uh, the plastic of the the spool is going to heat up a little bit. Um, so it might be a good idea to use like a piece of cardboard or something in between your thumb and the spool um, just to reduce you know that that friction there. 
Alright, so once you have your line attached, you close the bail. And it's real, really slow, the first few. Then once it catches, uh, you can reel away. And again, this is our 125 yard bait. So next we're going to attach the braided line with the, um, you know, of the backing to the, the actual primary line, um, you know, that we're going to be using, um, you know, for actually fishing here. Um, we're going to be attaching it with a double uni knot. So we just came to the shop to um, show you guys how to tie the two uni knots um, that we use to attach the backing and the main line. Um, so here it goes. I start off with, um, you know, three to four loops um, on one of the one side of the line, and then what you want to do is come through the middle, you know, around through the middle. And before you tighten it, you want to bring your other end through that same middle hole, going the opposite way. Tighten it up so it doesn't go anywhere. And then this time, what you're gonna do with the yellow rope is go around the orange uh, loop um, three to four times. And then you're gonna go from the bottom of your, your pile of circles up towards the top. making sure they're going through all of the circles. Grab the tag end. And then you want to pull tight on both of the tag ends first. So now this is the main portion, 300 yards, 40 pound test. We have an onyx color, it's basically a black. Alright, so we're going to reel the line all the way through the guides. You got it here, you can just kind of hold it. Reel it in. Then we're going to put the line in the line lock here. Just like that. And you're all set. You have your line attached to your reel and you're ready for the season. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.